Today, I'm gonna show you on how I use castor oil for my hair. Scalp massage. Using light shampoo. Making dry my hair in a natural way. This is Mama G and welcome to my channel. So let's start with lighting the candle. Candle flame help to calm us down and relax our minds. Aromatherapy can alter brain waves and behavior, can reduce the perception of stress, increase contentment and decrease levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and play relaxing music. Brushing hair starts in the end of the hair, going up, so it's easy for you to brush your hair after. Is it important to brush your hair every day? Yes. Brushing stimulates the capillaries of the scalp, increasing blood circulation and the transport of oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicles. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it two times a week. Some say this encourages hair growth, even strengthening the roots and diminishing hair loss. The sebaceous glands produce sebum, a protective oil and natural conditioner. Before applying oil to your hair, spritz with a misting spray or plain water, making sure not to soak dresses. Be sure to moisturize the hair before applying oils as this prevents moisture from penetrating the hair strands. Castor oil is a vegetable oil pressed from castor beans. It is a colorless to very pale yellow liquid with a distinct taste and odor. Massage on your scalp for about 5 minutes. On the scalp, castor oil works against dandruff, strengthens the roots, and promotes hair growth. This oil is very sticky. The feeling right now is like I am touching a cotton candy. Make sure you cover your hair from roots to ends. After a good oil massage, your scalp becomes relaxed and fragile. Combing your hair immediately after it can cause hair breakage and hair loss. Now I'm gonna twist my hair but not too tight and let to absorb the oil all over the day. It's only oil and does not that have to be washed out immediately after applying it. Make sure you don't leave any oil on for more than one day as it can attract dirt and pollution to your skull.
After 8 hours, I took my shower with lukewarm water. I use Bioderma Fluid Non Detergent Shampoo. I will be using Hair Scalp Massager Shampoo Brush. This shampoo gently cleanses all types of hair, even the most fragile, restores shine to the hair. This is for all hair types and suitable for Brazilian straightening. Shampoo brushes can help to remove product build up and help to exfoliate dead skin on the scalp. Now I feel very fresh and clean. I will be using microfiber towel for my hair. Despite their ultra fine fibers, they are more absorbent than standard bath towels. The most significant selling point for microfiber towels is that they don't damage hair. The smaller fibers don't snug or tangle hair strands, resulting in less friction and less breakage. Don't brush your hair when it's wet, because that's when it's at its weakest and becomes vulnerable to breakage split ends and damage even worse you can actually pull hair from the root that way and look who's waiting me hello Mumut. say hello to everyone natural drying takes time but i would like to show you guys my natural hair Hair care is an investment in your confidence and happiness and self-hair care is a simple way to repair and refresh. This is not slapping some conditioner on your head as you're trying to raise out the door in the morning, not at all. Your hair is an expression of who you are. Look at that, that's my hair, beautiful, shiny, smooth, silky. Good hair days make me feel like I can rule the world. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to put like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more hair tips videos. See you again in my next vlog. Bye! Have a great hair day everyone!